Hi guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to configure your router as an NTP server. NTP stands for Network Time Protocol. So why would you need an NTP server? Well, the reason is, is that if you want to ensure that all your device, the time on all your devices are synchronized, then it is important for you to have an NTP server. So in order to configure uh, the NTP feature, on your Mikrotik router, you need to ensure that the package NTP is installed on your router. So if you go to systems, system packages, you should ensure that the NTP package is installed. You can go back to the tutorial about installing packages. If, if you are not sure how to install packages, you can go back to that tutorial and uh, in that tutorial I show, show I would show how to install packages. So the first thing that you need to do is to go to pool.ntp.org and depends on your region it will automatically um, choose your language but if you go to ntp pool.ntp.org and click on use the pool it will bring you to this page and these two pools we're going to use these two pools to configure our time server so we're going to go go back to winbox go to system ntp server we're going to enable the server and we're going to enable broadcast. So broadcast, what it does is uh, this send out a, a pocket onto the network to say I'm a time server. So it allow other devices to connect to it. So if it is really if there's an auto discovery feature that is enabled on your device that can detect a time server in network, um, this router supports that. Next, we're going to configure the NTP client. So, on the router, you need a client that will connect to the internet and ensure that the time is synchronized with the router. And then, that router will now redistribute the time to other uh, devices. So, it could be a PC, it could be uh, servers, or um, or even other routers or access points. So click on NTP client, click enable, and we're going to enter the domain name 0.pool.ntp.org. I'm going to paste that here and we're going to enter the secondary pool and then click apply. So the router automatically uh, resolves the name. So you don't need to worry about IP address. It will automatically resolve the domain name to an IP address. Click OK and now you have configured your router as a time server. So all you need to do on your other devices is that anywhere there's an NTP setting, you can just go to the NTP setting, the client on other devices, and you, what you, you do is to enter the IP address of this router on your other devices, and they will get the time from this router. So that is how you configure the NTP feature on your router and that's it for this tutorial and thanks for watching